you gotta wait on him. <laughs> Whatever, like he doesn't know you work here. Okay, in case you haven't noticed, I'm having the hair day from hell. It's just, please. You know what I want? More than anything else? I want you to make me believe that anything's possible. Can you do that? Mr. Ian, something happened. Misty is starting to cost us more than she's bringing in. If she can't get her act together, we're gonna have to put her on suspension. I don't think that's gonna be necessary. Why not? She's dead. I'm the fool because I still believe in miracles. Because that's exactly what the other night was to me. But you're right. Nothing has changed, has it? said that. You again? What's your deal? I mean, what are you, one of those special kids that eat paste and drool? Better not drool on me. No, man, I, uh, I work here. Yeah, not exactly a walking advertisement, are you? So, uh, can, can I get you something to drink? Look, here's what you can get me. You can either get me one of the cute girls I always see working here, or you can get lost. Nice. One for the cuckoo's nest. I love Ken Kesey. His uh, science is tight. Dude, did I stutter? Either find me a cute girl or beat it. All right. Nice talking to you. Um, is everything cool? Oh, yeah. Everything's cool. Jordan's cool. You're cool. I'm cool. We're just one big coolorama. <laughs> Man, you're a lucky girl. Mm, God, I know. Talk to Roberto. Uh, we're all primed for a meeting tomorrow night. Are we primed to make a move on your stepfather? Yeah, when I say so. And not before, you got it? Our business better not suffer because of any deals you have with Roberto. <laughs> you threatening me? Would I do that? You and I are partners. Partners trust each other. Like the other night, when I helped you facilitate that little accident yeah, yeah. at the packing plant? Yeah, yeah. You're right, you're right, you're right. We're friends. Took a bitter end. Good. Because betrayal between partners is a terrible thing. It's nice. Very nice. Enjoy the show. Hello. What the hell happened to you? 
What are you talking about? You know damn well what I'm talking about. That Misty Brock? Yeah. She's dead. Everything's gonna be all right, Vincent. Just take it easy. I'm sure Misty's in a better place. What on earth is going on here? Catherine, we got some bad news. You know that body that they found down by the docks the other night? It was Misty. Oh, isn't this just rich? <laughs> like the agency really needs a public relations nightmare right now. Oh, I know we should have dropped Misty a long time ago. Now we've got to do damage control. Vincent, I need you to be on top of this. Yes, Duchess. Well, go and issue a press release. And make sure I see it before it goes out. Oh, and send some flowers to whatever family she has. After all, we are not insensitive barbarians. <sighs> Will this drama never end? I can see her stress. Is there anything that I can do to help? Yes. Be at the house for dinner tonight. We need to have a family conference about how to handle the current situation. I'm flattered that you're including me. Oh, Ian, you know you're practically family. Oh, dear, I almost forgot my lunch date. See you tonight. Will do. It's me. Just checking in. Hmm? No, things are gonna be better. The longer I hang around here, the more indispensable I am to the Devons. Just as we planned. Can I ask you something? Of course. How are you doing? Fine. You know, we haven't even really talked about it ever since you Yeah, said... because I don't like talking about it, okay? I haven't taken a, a pill in like a week. And even thinking about it makes me sick. Okay, no problem. Let's just talk about something else. Like? Well, the mural's turning out really well. Um, Mrs. Miller said she might even want to put it on the cover of the yearbook. What's your problem tonight? Why does the problem have to be about me? Maybe it's you. What the hell does that mean? Are you cheating on Dylan? What? You heard me. How can I cheat on him if we're not even together? So one night you're kissing him and the next day he's just a total stranger. A stranger? Jody, I told you. We kissed like a month ago and that was it. We are just friends. And why is that, Kayla, huh? You're too busy entertaining all the men in your life? What are you talking about? Oh, come on, Kayla. Stop playing dumb with me. I saw your little black book. I know what's going on. together like this. But like nothing will go wrong. And what about the other times? I don't think about them. That won't make them go away. I know. But at least I can get through the bad stuff if I know there's moments like this week for me. expected this to happen tonight. Neither did I. Well, now that it did, 
I realize that I care about you a lot more than I was willing to admit to myself. Is that bad? No. No. But I think it's my turn to back off. What does that mean? To me, feelings like this are about trust. And until you can open up and trust me, I have no other choice. Somebody or something is dragging you down. And either you come clean with me, or I'm out of here. Listen, you just keep your mouth shut about Misty. Stick to the company line, and everything's gonna be just fine. I told you to haul your butt down to the station this morning. Oh, I'm sorry, officer. I was busy. I mean, I was running a legitimate business here. Right. If you have such a legitimate business to run, why did you lie about Misty working for you? I never lied about that. I told the truth. The lady never worked for me. Right. She was just a model, huh? Yeah, see, that explains it all. These model chicks, they hang around liquid all the time, you know, do the whole party scene on the weekend. You know what? Maybe some rich guy picked her up, gave her what she wanted, she was happy. See, that's the scene, man. They come in, they get up, and they go. Right. So does that mean you're changing your story now? I'm not changing anything, officer. Detective. What I'm hearing now is that maybe you knew Misty after all. Is that correct? Is it no, a word that's a little too broad? Well, narrow it down for me. Yeah, I've seen Misty around. She can go up to the bar every now and then at Liquid. Same as every other model that hangs out there. You ever talk to her? Might have bought her a drink maybe once or twice. You ever set her up with anyone? No. Are you calling me a pimp? Huh? Did you just call me a pimp? First of all, we need to be in sync with our story about Stefan's death. Now, as far as we all knew, Nora and Stefan both were blown up at the lab. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. I was always under the impression that we were all shocked to hear of Dr. Erickson's second death. Which brings us to the question of Anne's death. Well, I'm not gonna beat around the bush. It's quite possible that Anne and Stefan were having an affair. And if that were to come out... That would look really bad for you, wouldn't it, Dad? Thank you, Trevor. Don't worry. I think as long as we get rid of that cell phone bill, we'll be in Clover. How nice of you to join us, Macy. Oh, well, you know me, my man. I wouldn't miss a family strategy session for anything in the world. Lucas, however, seems to be conspicuously absent. I think that could be because he's busy pitching his tent over in the enemy camp. And where would that be? Gabby Hamilton's apartment. Oh, yeah. Isn't it just like Lucas to let her use him to put the screws on this family? <laughs> it's enough. There's no passing the buck. Catherine's right. We have to find a way to deflect all the negative publicity that's going to be hitting us from all sides. I'm already getting calls, board members, the bank. People are getting damned edgy. Confidence in Devon is waning. Well, the latest millennia screw up didn't exactly help things, did it? Or Misty getting killed. What? I didn't want to trouble you with that, Martin, considering everything else that you're dealing with right now, but it's going to be all over the news tonight. That girl they found dead the other day was one of our models. Do you know about this? Marco, I want us to be honest with each other. 
There's just something I have to deal with first. I figured it was some guy. Or someone who has a real hold on you. Well, if you're thinking that, then I hope you're also figuring that I'm trying to break that hold. Let me help you. You can't. Why not? Because it's not the kind of thing that I can just get away from and there won't be any repercussions. Jay, whatever you're into, I can get you out. Hello? I want your freaking ass at the club right now. I have a very important client that is coming in tonight. You understand me, bitch? You do? Good. Good for you. Jody, please tell me you did not do that to me. To you? You've been keeping this from me for months, and this is supposed to be about you? Look, you don't understand. What? What don't I understand? That you have a sugar daddy that pays your bills and floats your rent? And all this time you've been leading on Dylan like some silly little dog. How could you do that to him? It's not what you think. I don't... I don't have a sugar daddy. I don't have anyone. That's the point. What does that mean? It means I pay my own bills. I pay my own rent. I take care of myself. So who are all those names? Business. What? I'm... You're a what? I'm a call girl, okay? Are you happy now? No more lying, no more... What? I said I'm a call girl. Well, no. How could... No, th there's no way. You're only 18. I thought you were my friend. Misty's always been a problem, and I suspected she may be moonlighting, but I thought we had it under control. We were gonna put her on suspension, but... You thought you had her under control? What the hell is that supposed to mean? How could you let things get so out of hand? You've got a hell of a long way to go, boy, to get to where you need to be. Don't pay any attention to him, Macy. Martin has been in a foul mood ever since Tom O'Keefe came to interrogate him. are very high-end. I don't want any hookers involved in this operation. I want couriers. That's it. Just leave the details to me. I like the way you operate. Keep this up and we might have a good future together. Listen, I don't like to mix business and pleasure. But I have something in the back room that you might enjoy. Appreciate your consideration. That's the second time that I've seen Ramon Vega here. 
You better not be up to anything, Jimmy Ray. I see you finally got your transcripts in. <laughs> yeah. Everything okay? Well, to be honest with you, I was a little confused at first. But the, the, the list of schools on there, obviously you've been doing quite a bit of moving around the past 10 years. Texas, Michigan, Louisiana, but no New York. Okay, Sherlock, you got too many maybes to make this stick. Yeah, but Harry, I can smell it. I know I'm this close. <laughs> I love it when you get that look in your eyes. <laughs> did you know about Kayla? What are you talking about? Answer me, Della. Did you know about Kayla? Oh, Jody, calm down. Tell me, what are you talking Will about? Will you just shut up and tell me? Tell you what about Kayla? Did you know that Kayla was some kind of call girl? I can see that this plan of yours has an endless amount of possibilities. I'm dumping a hell of a lot more than possibilities into your lap here, Roberto. I'm practically handing you devil. Yes, and I appreciate your enthusiasm. Screw enthusiasm. Are you in or are you out? Are you going somewhere? Yeah. Where? To Stockholm. I'm leaving at the end of the day. <laughs>